Hi, this is Desmond Butts. Welcome to another episode of Power Driven. I haven't made one of these for a while because I do a lot of other things besides these videos. You may have seen some of these videos from limousine work, pilot flying, and car rebuilding. I'm also an airline pilot, and it keeps me pretty busy. This is a special episode, and we're going to talk about the Blue Driver System. It's also going to be uh, assisted by my son, Alexander. I hope you enjoy this video. Please subscribe and make sure you like us. Okay. Okay, today on Power Driven, I'm joined by my son Alex. Now you haven't seen Alex on uh, Power Driven before because he's been gone for two years. Where have you been, Alex? I've been serving a mission for my church in Bolivia for two years. So I, I, I guess that means you know a different language, huh? Yes, I speak Spanish. Awesome. So we're going to discuss a really cool new tool that helps us uh, diagnose problems with uh, vehicles. And we're going to test it out on uh, Alex's car. And it's called the Blue Driver. Okay? And this version is going to be a little bit different because Alex is going to kind of say the same thing that we've done and translate it to Spanish for people that watch it in other countries for us. Exactly. Así que este es el Blue Driver. Y vamos a ver cómo funciona este, well, este programa, este cosa. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to open this up, show you what it looks like really quick. This is a Bluetooth uh, compatible device that interfaces with an iPhone or an iPad. And it's really small, comes in a nice little box like that and it plugs into the uh, computer diagnostic port on your vehicle. Así que este funciona con Bluetooth y puede enchufarlo direct directamente en el auto y funciona con su celular también, así que uh, a través de Wi-Fi puede hacer la conexión y ver las, la, las dificultades que su vehículo tiene o, o los problemas también. Con su iPhone yeah. y, y con su iPad. Hay una aplicación que uno podría um, descargar y podría utilizarlo a fin de que pueda conectarlo con, uh, con su auto. Y aquí podemos uh, buscar los códigos y los problemas. Ok. We're going to go out and we're going to test this on a 2004 Lexus. Now this Lexus is the same Lexus that I rebuilt the uh, Toyota Supra engine in it because Lexus came stock with that particular engine and I did a video on that if you'd like to go and check out some of our other videos for Power Driven. Now this car was uh, involved in uh, a minor accident. Yeah. Well, maybe a little more of a minor accident. It still drove, so uh, it's kind of patched up right now and we're just going to go through and kind of look and show you how we connect to it and check the diagnostics. Así que vamos a practicar con ustedes con mi auto es un Lexus um, modelo IS300 o IS300 um, año 2004 y vamos a ver qué problemas tiene porque tuve un choque hace algunos meses atrás y hubo muchos problemas con el auto. Así que vamos a ver qué, qué encontraremos. You ready to go do? Yeah. All right. We'll be out there and we'll set up outside. Okay. Okay. It's windy out here. This is Alex. We're actually going to demo this on three different vehicles. The first one is going to be the Lexus. And you can see we had to put a new hood on and a couple things. But uh, he's going to, we're going to talk about that. And I'm going to show you the part where we connect to. Okay. Así que vamos a conectar un enchufar este Bluetooth, um, Blue Driver. Aquí. A ver. Right here by our finger. And the blue aquí light está. comes on. Tell the blue light comes on. Y aquí está este luz azul. Y esto quiere decir de que hay, hay poder en el blue driver. Y funciona. Okay. Y aquí and tenemos we pull off the software. Mm 
Okay. okay, this one automatically, in most cases, can recognize the car. Así que automáticamente este Blue Driver y la aplicación puede identificar qué tipo de auto es. Turn the key on. Así que vamos a... Ah, un momento. Vamos a prender el auto. Ahí está. Y vamos a seleccionar live. Aquí está la opción. A ver. Ok, what we're doing right now is uh, trying to get the communication to link up. I had this in here before, previously, so you can see this here. Now it shows it's recognizing and, and finding a connection. Uh -huh. Está haciendo una conexión. There we go. Now it shows that it's connected. If we go to live, it shows the engine RPM and the engine load value there. Así que ahora podemos ver la conexión. Podemos ver los RPM, eh, el load value. If we're driving, it'll give how many miles an hour and then the load value as well in comparison to the driving. Si, si estamos manejando, podríamos ver los, la velocidad aquí y su load value aquí también y la diferencia entre los dos. Now this, when it pulls it up, it automatically brings up the VIN. I have a VIN history of several vehicles that we've tested this on, but this one is showing the Lexus. It also gives you the specifications. It'll tell you the year, the trim package, the series, everything. It's all loaded on here. It's pretty... Uh, a pretty thorough uh, setup, and it tells you everything that it has based on that VIN configuration on it. When you go over to the uh, scan and read the codes, it gives you uh, several options because this is an enhanced vehicle. Right now there's no codes found because we cleared them previously, but it can do a full uh, scan of all of the subsystems including the airbags. Así que con este número de identificación es por su propio vehículo. Le da los códigos específicos, le da las, um, las configuraciones por su auto y todo lo que necesita para arreglarlo. It also has different sections for settings and uh, the manual. This software is free, but it only works with this uh, scanner, this, the... Uh, Blue driver, so this gives you an order screen if you don't already have one like we do. Okay? But also back on the, on the main menu, if you go to the status page, it'll tell you how many hours and kilometers and how many days it's been since you checked the, code, the codes last, previously. You can also do a smog check uh, function on it, and it'll give you some different uh, values there depending on what you plug into the monitor. Así que aquí le da una idea de cuán, cuánto tiempo ha, ha durado hasta la, la última vez que, que inspeccionó su auto con uh, este programa, este Blue, Blue Driver. Y aquí podemos hacer algunas inspecciones más del poder de, de diferentes, um, diferentes cosas de su auto. Por ejemplo, el, el motor y los, las ruedas y, y cosas así. So we just turned on this uh, readiness check here and it tells you some different things if you've got misfires to the fuel system, evaporative system and things like that that are applicable to this particular vehicle. And that's again another scan of it. You can do a full system scan if you want to. It just depends on the vehicle and uh, what you want to do. This one, of course, has been cleared. And uh, we did a, a repair where we replaced airbags and a few things on this after the accident. So now we're going to go to a different vehicle and show you how it's done on a Toyota Tundra uh, four-wheel drive SR5. It's a 2007. Ahora vamos a hacer un otro examen con un Toyota Tundra. Y vamos a ver qué, qué uh, encontraremos ahí. Ok, now we're uh, looking at the Tundra. And we're going to go ahead and plug this uh, module in. 
and bring up Blue Driver software here. Okay, ahora estamos mirando al Tundra y estamos enchufando este Blue Driver de nuevo. Aquí tenemos el programa en, en el iPad. Ahí está, ahora está enchufado. The blue light comes on, you know that it's got uh, power to the blue driver when it's plugged into the uh, diagnostic service port. And here, we'll pull up the vehicle information and uh, hopefully we'll find it. And then it will change it from the Lexus automatically. If it doesn't, I do have this one in the list. Así que automáticamente debe cambiar el modelo del auto porque ya está enchufado. Pero vamos a ver si lo hace automáticamente. Ahí está, está conectándose. There we go. Now it's connecting. If it does it correctly, it should find the serial number automatically or it may be up in the list. And so what I may have to do here is pull it back up in the history and I bring it up in the list. If it's not there, it will bring it up automatically usually. This one I'll show the vehicle specifications here. On this one it'll tell the year and everything like that that we already discussed. And we'll go ahead and do a scan on this one. This one's saying because it has more options to scan, it says do you want to do just the engine? Dash lights are all system modules, which also in this case includes the ABS, ABS brake system. Así que en este vehículo nos da más opciones de lo que podríamos uh, leer como códigos. Podemos identificar los de, del motor, los de los luces del dashboard y los demás sistemas que, que hay en el auto. So we'll do a full system scan. It takes a little bit of time. So we'll end up uh, editing this and then we'll bring it back when it's done with the scan. Okay, now we are uh, finishing up. We're at 100% uh, on the scan, and it's going to give us uh, some codes of saying pending trouble codes. There's some uh, some misfires that uh, is saying, and a random uh, cylinder misfire detection. It's uh, saying the anti-lock brake system has two codes on the anti-lock brakes, but everything else looks normal. And so, if we want to, uh, we can clear all the codes separately or we can clear all of them together. Así que aquí vemos los, los códigos aquí y si quisiéramos um, eliminarlos juntos podríamos hacerlo o podríamos eliminar algunos de los códigos que vemos aquí um, individualmente. One of the neat things about this is if you, if you uh, touch on this it will give you some tips but it also tells you what the code is for instance on the uh, on the analog brakes and it says the most common errors are repair the left wheel speed sensor or differential speed sensor wiring or replace the wheel bearing okay it says those are the common reasons why this code comes up other reported fixes are to do the harness the wiring harness an air injection reaction pump the brake booster steering wheel position sensor vacuum brake booster or a wheel speed uh, har sensor harness. So it gives you not only what the codes are, but some of the more common ways to troubleshoot and get rid of the code. So it's a pretty neat set of system. The analog brakes only come up on systems that have that compatible with the blue driver. Uh, not all cars will, uh, if they have a system problem with the brakes, will show up on the blue driver. Only the ones that that uh, are compatible and that the blue driver can read. Si escojamos estas opciones aquí de los, um, de los problemas con el auto, podemos ver lo, algunas pistas de cómo podríamos arreglar el problema aquí y en diferentes maneras podríamos verlo aquí. Okay, now we're going to uh, go ahead and clear these. Vamos a eliminar los códigos. We'll go and clear all codes. And that takes a little bit of time uh, to clear them as well. 
and uh, so we will start back up when the codes are done and we will move on to the uh, 2002 Volvo S80. So there, all the codes look like they are cleared. Así que todos los códigos han sido eliminados y vamos a cambiar autos al Volvo para ver aquí. So this was a, a project car, this Volvo. I'm sorry about the wind out here, it's pretty windy. But it's an S80, we bought it for uh, $500. It was a family team project. And uh, it really didn't have too many uh, things, just lots of little stuff, but not too critical. We'll uh, go ahead and pull the hood real fast and I'll, I'll give a, a very quick summary. Okay, and talk a little bit about what we did to this. I left the blue driver to go grab it up. So, you can see it's in pretty good shape. One of the problems that is it had uh, some random misfires going on due to some coils. So we replaced two coils. This is a twin turbo. 2002 S80 Volvo. Uh, after we replaced those, we also um, made sure all the plugs were changed and uh, everything was topped off properly. We also had a leak here in a couple of these hoses and we replaced a couple of the hoses here uh, with the radiator system and the cooling. Then the uh, CV axle on this side um, was bad and we replaced that and then we put um, brand new tires and brand new uh, shocks and struts all the way around and new rear brakes. And uh, now it drives absolutely fabulously and it gets almost uh, 600 miles on a tank of fuel. So kind of a fun little project. We were trying to troubleshoot some things on this with the blue driver. And this particular VIN number on this one doesn't pull up automatically. So we had to manually uh, input it in. Um, in that section on the data section on the uh, software. Did you plug it in already? Yep. So. Así que ya podemos ver que está enchufado aquí. Where's the key? Um, you have the keys already, right? Mm -hmm. Go ahead and start it. Okay. Vamos a prender el auto. Okay, now we're looking at the Volvo. I had to manually enter this one in because it wouldn't uh, auto pull this VIN number up at first when we first uh, did this. Once again, the vehicle specifications. De nuevo las especificaciones del vehículo. Can you tell me it's a twin turbo? Este es un twin turbo. 2002. Modelo es 2002. Um, S80. Tell me about how much we paid for it and what we fixed. Así que nosotros hemos pagado más o menos 500 dólares por este auto porque tenía muchos problemas con ello. Pero hemos arreglado las, rue las ruedas, las, los shocks, los struts y, y los um, frenos, los uh, frenos de aire, a fin de que pudiera manejarse mejor. Y ahora podemos manejarlo por más o menos 600, um, 600 millas con un tanque de, de gasolina. That scan. Now say this one does not have. Okay, this car does not have the ability to scan the ABS brake system, so all we're seeing is uh, engine code, trouble codes, and the associated uh, engine uh, systems. Así que este vehículo no tiene la capacidad de, de chequear otros códigos con el auto, sino los códigos que tiene que ver con el motor. Y eso es lo que vemos aquí. Ahora vamos a eliminar estos códigos aquí. Y ahí está. Han sido elimina eliminados.
this one's interesting because it doesn't, there we go, the RPM shows up finally. Okay, this is showing a live data feed on it right now. Of course, we're not driving, so you don't see the miles per hour. There it goes. This is just checking this, the smog on this one and things like that. Some of these don't have the right uh, setup for it to give everything on it. It also gives you different statuses and things like that since uh, we've checked last if you want to and it'll save that information for you. All right, well, we appreciate you watching this. Uh, and this is our uh, basic review on Blue Driver and how to do the basic functions. All right. Just say that. Gracias a al ver este video. Estos son los um, cómo funciona básicamente el sistema de Blue Driver con la aplicación también. Si tienes otras preguntas o sugerencias, nos avisa en los comentarios. Gracias. All right.